And we wonder why the devil, see, some of us tell us he isn't even real, why the devil is running loose. He's running loose because he appears to be so unopposed. And we were having a little dialogue with Russ here before we came on. And we were talking about the, the devil and how he's getting more and more bold and because we, we don't understand how he operates. As I said, many churches don't even believe that he exists. So if he does, he's a figment of our imagination, like the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus and, you know, and all, all that stuff. And so we're, going to, we're having an event here in a couple of weeks down in the Savannah, Georgia area. And I got an email from, from Josh said, Coach, did you see this? Is there any chance that we can go, go see this? Jared, pop that thing up on the screen there for us, Jared. In Atlanta, opening in Atlanta on April 27th, I believe it is, Atlanta Theater faces criticism for gay versions of Bible studies. Scroll that down there, Jared. And here's what's opening on Broadway in Atlanta. Look at these two. Look at this here. These, these two sodomite homosexual spirits down there, they are, they are making fun, again, of Bible of Bible story. See, Russ, I say that's one of the problems that we have in the first place is we don't teach the Bible as history. We teach it as stories. That Samson was a real guy. Mm -hmm. David and Goliath, that really happened. Jesus mm -hmm. was really crucified. That all of, these, all of these stories that we read in the Bible, then our, this kind of stuff is taken. The enemy takes it and he counterfeits it and he makes our faith even look like more and more of a joke. And at what point would the people in Atlanta, are the people in Atlanta going to push back against this nonsense and stand? See, can you imagine if they were doing this of the Quran, if they were having gay characters in the Quran? Now, we know this. They would never, ever even consider doing that. Why? Because there'd be pushback from the Muslim community, wouldn't there? And they know there is no pushback at all from the Christian community. So therefore, they can blaspheme the name of Christ and blaspheme the God's holy word and nobody get upset about it. Well, I'm upset about it. And we're going to be down there in Atlanta and we're going to we're just going to bring us a loving rebuke to those folks down there. That's going to be on. We're going down April 27th. That's when it opens. But we're probably not going to do it till till Sunday.